Hey guys, I'm Rahul and today for you I'm going to teach you how to make a glitch transition like the one you saw at the start in Sony Vegas. So anyway, to start off you just want to come into your Sony Vegas, like here, and you want to bring in your clip that you want to have the transition in. So my clip here is just, I'm going to use the same one I used at the start, just a cool little clip where I um, blow up a helicopter. So yeah, anyway, let just drag into your clip into the timeline here and um, do the, your usual things to it, like right click it. Switches, disable, resample. Just this just um, makes it so the frames don't blend together and um, it looks better. And also, if you're using a HD PVR like me, you just want to crop out the black lines. I've got a preset here, so yeah. Now we um, have our clip and it's pretty good. So we can just choose where we want to make the transition. I'll just do it some random place. So what you want to do is you want to find your clip. If you've got two clips separately, just put them next to each other and do the parts which I'll tell you later. But if you've got one clip which you want to split up, basically what you want to do is find the part where you want to split it. I'll just do it here. You want to press S on your keyboard which will split it and then go over to the part where you the other side where you want to split it. I'll just do it here and press S again and now this middle part all you want to do is click it and then press delete on your keyboard and it will delete the clip. Now the clip that you um, have over here you just want to drag it next to this clip so it's like that and then we're going to have the tra transition right here. So what you want to do now is um, right click on this part here and insert a new audio track. Now what you want to do is in the description there's a download link for some sounds and um, you don't have to use these if you've got your own sounds but um, these are the ones I use. There's just a few of the really cool ones I liked from an editing pack and um, yeah. Now I'm going to use this one. They all are different sounds but and they are pretty cool. So what you want to do is once you've got your glitch sound what you want to do is bring it in to your timeline and bring it in under the clip and then just zoom in by using your scroll wheel or just clicking here and dragging in you can scroll in and um, just zoom in now your music file um, will be a bit longer than it actually is so as you can see the um, the sound ends here but it carries on so what you want to do is you just want to drag it along to make it the smallest size and once you've done that just put it underneath um, the little with two clips um, meet and now you want to go into the transition section which is just here now once you're in here, you just want to scroll down till you see the one that says portals. You want to click it and then click the first one and drag it in um, between those two clips. Now this little box will pop up, uh, pop up and what you want to do is change the border size to zero and um, the squares you can change to, any, to however many you want. Um, I don't really know what the best one is, I just normally put it somewhere around here. Having loads doesn't look that good but um, somewhere near the start is pretty good. Now the random seed pattern, you can change this if you want, but um, it doesn't really matter, um, it, it goes so quick that not many people will notice, so I just leave it at that. Now what you, what you want to do is close that, and then just zoom in again, and go here, and now as you can see, our, muse, our, our sounds start there and end uh, there, you can try and crop it to make it the exact right sound, and yeah. Now what you want to do is just drag your transition, you just want to click it and drag it so it lines up with um, the, f the first part of your sound and then drag the end of the transition and line it up with the last part of your sound. Now this means that when you play it back, um, you can't see it that well now because my PC isn't that good so it doesn't render it out properly there but like you saw at the start, it'll basically play the sound and it'll use the transition just to quickly um, switch it and it gives it kind of a glitch effect which is quite nice. So yeah, anyway that is how you do the um, glitch transition effect, hope you guys have enjoyed it and you learned something new. Anyway, I've been Rahul, hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one.